Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Animunda, a new Minecraft mod brought to you by ShadowGamerXY, aka Sir Shadow, who is uh, currently working on this. It's in closed beta, so you're not going to uh, see this out on the market per se, at least not quite yet. Uh, maybe you will later on. And uh, it's in the beginning stages. It's uh, only just really coming out and uh, it, it's looking really, really wonderful. It's uh, kind of a cross between uh, maybe a little bit of Roots inspiration mixed along with Ars Magic 2. And uh, it, it's just really coming along really really well. <laughs> All right, enough about me uh, talking about it. Let's give you a brief sneaky peek as uh, how this mod is coming along. So I think it's best I first tell you uh, how this mod really is going to work out. I mean, uh, you, you start off uh, looking for these here, they're void seeds, and in order to get one, you need to go down all the way to the very deepest depths closest to the void that you can get, and then you mine stone along there. Uh, this entire mod is based around the idea of void magics and uh, how you can empower yourself with them. So now that I'm all the way down here at Y level 8 for the moment, and of course I've, I've got some Tinker's items here just to help me uh, speed things along, if I start mining, eventually, oh, straight away at least, uh, you'll come into things like this, a Void Seed. And if you haven't experienced one before, you'll instantly start getting a, uh, a hunger effect uh, based on your, uh, <laughs> uh, well, you'll just start getting very large amounts of hunger. And as things progress, you'll need to eat these. as you can see there. And by doing so, you'll see that I've got a couple of meters on the uh, side of my screen there. And that basically is uh, the purple, represents the amount of void magic you've been infused with, or that you have currently, the purple bar at least. The overall is how much you have total. Uh, the green is your progress to the next level. So the, once already, this is very similar to an Ars Magica development uh, where you level along. Now as you mine, you'll see I'm getting lots of uh, void seeds that I can continue to eat. And as I continue, uh, these items will start, you know, my little bars at the bottom there continue to progress upwards. Now the earlier levels are much faster. I've already actually uh, eaten a few of these as it is uh, and leveled up once or twice. So let's get back up to the surface and uh, see how much progress I can make there. So let's say that I've been mining for a while, and I've got a whole bunch of void seeds. Well, uh, now that I've been eating some of these, I mean, what, what good is it going to do? Well, that's where you're going to want to make one of these little guys here. A void control tablet. Recipe is made with just some smooth stone paper and a void seed. So it's your beginning levels. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is check your information. You know, player level 6, player experience 27, and it tells you your current player void essence and your max void essence, which is, you know, like your the purple bar, and this is your maximum level uh, amount of, uh, uh, well, void magic that you'd be able to uh, house amongst you. So this is just kind of a stat tablet and you know all this is a work in progress so feel free to just remember that all these things could change how they look, how they function, and everything. But for now this is how things are currently working. Now you might also think well what else can I do with this in order to progress? Well the void seed if you look at the recipe here can be used to make of course, vo of course void stones which you'll see below. Uh, I have currently fancy void stones here in the middle. They have a faint squarish uh, raised or beveled edge. Uh, then you've got your standard void stone and you've got your void bricks. They're very, very uh, purple, which works with the theme of this. You know, you can make your uh, your void bases and so on with some of these basic blocks. What else can you do? Well, there is plenty, let me tell you. Uh, it doesn't look like much at first, but one thing progresses to the next. Four void seeds together makes a void shard, which does not stack. Uh, right now in the beta set, a void seed in a book will give me a void knowledge book, which will allow me to unlock all the spells in the mod uh, currently. So that that's just a temporary mechanic until things can progress on. So let's make a void shard. Here we are on crafting grid and I can make void shard. Now if I start making more than one of these, it does not stack. You can see here it just kind of switches it out. Now what are void shards used for? These can be used to make all sorts of further items like an ancient void core or a void crystal. Let's start with a void crystal uh, since I haven't mined out enough iron ingots yet. There we go. A void 
crystal. Now, what is this going to be used for? Uh, simple enough, it's just going to be some progression for now, but you can make a void lens. Now, that's not too bad. I mean, it's just going to kind of be, what was it, a bunch of glass here. Let me get a little bit of glass. And one, two, three, four. We can make that right quick and in a hurry. And you'll see that this has kind of a, uh, a transparent effect about it when I hold it up and you can see, th see the tree right through it in the bottom right corner. It's pretty cool. I do like how this is uh, coming along. Now, this has different uses as well, but primarily uh, you can use it to make a spell tinkering altar, uh, as well as continuing on with this ancient void core, which we'll get to in a moment. Now, taking that void lens plus some stone bricks in the stone, we'll make a spell tinkering altar, which I currently have one here. There we go. This will allow you to actually create spells, but in order to unlock those, of course, you'll have to make that book that I showed you and click it in the air at this uh, current state. Now, there is going to be different mechanics on how to unlock spells. Uh, those have not been finalized at this time, but for now, it's just a matter of grabbing that book and uh, clicking and learning everything. But before we get into the spell mechanics, let's make that uh, void core that I was talking about. As before, you take a void lens, some void shards, and some iron ingots, and you get two of these. Well, since I'm in creative, let's just make a few of them here, and you can see that these don't really stack either. But what can they be used for? Well, you can use them to make void crates, void infusers, as well as void miners. So let's go over these uh, smaller items and see what they can do. So, a void crate. You get three of them for this recipe here with void ingots. Oh, wait. Void ingots? How do I make those? Well, there's this void infusing staff here that you'll probably have to make. It is one of the most basic things and only has a basic use, which is some sticks and some lapis. But since, once again, I'm in creative, I'm just going to spawn one in. Now let me grab a little bit of some iron. There we go. I throw this iron on the ground, use my void infusing staff, and I turn it into void ingots, which are going to be very useful later on. Going back to the void crate, you can, of course, make it now that you have these, uh, well, <laughs> void ingots. And I will show you how these work. They're kind of a transportation system. Uh, so if I were to kind of make an S shape here of these, and I have uh, one go up and another one, uh, let's, let's just dig this down here, and another one go down, and I grab some hoppers, You'll, you'll see where this is going very soon here, don't worry. Uh, but if I put these here, have one actually going into that end and one coming out of this, let's put another one here and then we'll have a chest, I think. There we go, a chest and put down a hopper on top of that. So you can see I've kind of made uh, a line from one side to another. Now this actually implies things going uphill. These work similar to hoppers. Uh, so if I put things in here, a couple of void crates, they go in and they come out the other side. You can see there's some void crates oop, and some dirt that I picked up earlier. But uh, you get the idea. So this is kind of a, a way of uh, transporting items. Let's put in a whole stack here. You can see it's going through the hopper and into the chest. Very basic, very simple, uh, and you could also use it as a, uh, you know, kind of a, a decorative block as well, if you so desire. Now what else can you use an ancient void core to uh, make? Well, a void miner. This one here uh, is very simple to use as well. Of course, I'm going to need a lever, so let me grab one of those. And you place it down give it a redstone signal, and it will mine an area. Now, you can, of course, uh, left-click it like you punch it, and it will tell you if it's uh, going to be, you know, two or one if you shift left click. Uh, now if I just left click it goes back up again and I can pull the lever and it digs out an area around it just instantly like that. So it's it's pretty darn cool. Uh, I mean it, it's a very handy item. It disappears and mines itself in the process currently but I mean that's a work in progress and just something that was created so that you could have a method of uh, doing some digging. And of course further on with the ancient void core is a void infuser, but that's made with some void rods. These, simply enough, 
are just a couple of void ingots together. And with them in your inventory, it's a little bit iffy. Uh, so you take that and you notice that uh, my, my purple meter currently on the left there, uh, I don't know if you notice, it is going down very slowly. Let me grab this tablet here. And you can see that my uh, void essence is currently dropping. This is kind of a PvP thing, so if you're experiencing other people, you get them to pick one of these up, or perhaps use it, uh, you can therefore drain their essence. Now, how do you increase your current essence? You notice that that drained it, but it did not go back up. Well, <laughs> that's something that we should get into before I get into uh, infusing of these items. Now, of course, you can eat more void seeds, but who wants to sit here munching on void seeds all day? I mean, sure, that increases my experience level as well, but there's got to be something else. Well, there is. Those void rods that I talked about add some iron ingots and some obsidian. You get a void pillar. Now, these are really cool. They look nice, uh, They and they act a little bit special. Now, if you notice, my meter is going up a little bit faster now, actually. Instead of going down 377 three, and so on, it is going up. This is kind of a recharge station, so if you have these nearby in a base uh, and you just kind of go over and sit near them, you'll get increased void essence very quickly. And uh, I don't know if there's an upward limit of the number of them you can have to help increase at this point, but that's, once again, a work in progress. So now that I've shown you a little bit of the void rods in the ancient void core, take some void stone and you can make yourself a void infuser. Now. You'll probably notice that uh, up above here, we've got some pink particles. Well, kind of purplish pink, magenta, if you will. I, I don't know how you want to call it. But I I'm going to put this down here, and that's what it is, this here. It it's kind of got these little prongs that stick out the top, and it's very interesting how it works. If you notice, I also have a void pickaxe. There are several tools. Each one is very simply made, you know, just using some void ingots, uh, the pick the shovel, the void axe, and of course you use stone sticks, which are just two smooth stone together. We'll make a stone stick for the uh, handles of these, and that will get you the basic tool. Now, as you use these, uh, this is currently about the level of an iron pick, so it's not really going to be any different from that. But once you infuse it with your void infuser, it will have an additional ability. Now if I put this in here and I just kind of wait a minute, but I do have to shift, right click it in order for it to uh, function, it will start infusing the tool. But you'll notice that currently I have no power. That's because it needs to drain a lot of your power from it. So you're going to want to be close to an area that you can actually have your power replenished. So I put it in there, I click, and it's going to try and drain my power. Now, <laughs> these things are trying to offset it, but it just takes a bit of time currently. So you can see it's constantly just draining one, 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 one. So it's going to take quite a bit of time because I think these things need around 500 essence as it currently is. And there we go. Uh, just by eating a bunch of void seeds, I was able to help offset that. It did take a little bit of time there. Uh, of course, that also gives me the hunger effect, so let me eat a little bit of regular food and get those void seeds out of my inventory. Now I have a void pickaxe. Now, there currently isn't anything telling you that anything's different because it still functions the same as a regular pickaxe. Uh, so what you need to do is, as before, you need to actually activate it with the right key. Now, I currently have mine put on the decimal key just so it wouldn't interfere with any other mods that I currently have installed. I do that. You don't see anything or hear anything different, but it now will actually replenish uh, accordingly with uh, my own essence. So if I do that, you notice it's actually slowly regenerating its own health uh, on the pick. So over time, it's draining my uh, current void essence as well, and therefore, it is now fully repaired. So it does give slightly uh, faster boost to it. It also will uh, give you auto repair at the cost of your own void essence. And that's pretty much what all these currently do is either they will mine faster, do slightly more damage or swing faster. 
as well as uh, uh, have auto repair from your void essence. So this is kind of the uh, the mechanic from Roots where they've got some repairable tools. It's a very nice mechanic. It's not very expensive. It's like the cost of some stone and some iron and it doesn't really enhance things too much. doesn't make them OP currently. Uh, but there are some other plans uh, for the future that might change how they work. But uh, currently, like I said, still in beta. So you probably noticed that there is still plenty more things sitting around here. Let's get rid of this here. And we have here, of course, the Spell Tinkering Altar. We're going to save that for last. But we also have the Void Workstation here. This is pretty neat. Void Workstation is made with some void ingots, smooth stone, and a furnace. We'll get you this here. And the idea behind it is that you insert items here plus a recipe similar to an AE2 Inscriber. And uh, you will be able to craft these items because I've got a research note here to make a void rod. Uh, now, some of these recipes will definitely be changing uh, because you're going to need to be able to actually infuse them down here uh, and put a bunch of you know void seeds down here to power it and so on and uh, therefore uh, allow automation of said things. With that being said, this mechanic is completely under uh, work right now and is uh, not to be uh, you know, trusted for its complete accuracy in this current build. And if you wanted to know how to currently get uh, research notes in this version at least, you put down a book and you use that void infusing staff to get a random uh, research note, which would allow you specific uh, recipes, you know, in this case a void rod, in this case a void ingot, and so on. Uh, now, there's definitely going to be some changes to that, but that's what it is at this moment. Now, there are still two more things to go. Uh, one is seals, and the other is spells, which is actually what a lot of this mod is focused on. But before I do that, we're still going to be covering the seals, because uh, we're, we're going to save the best for last here. <laughs> All right, so... You see, I have the Seal of Regeneration. Uh, so if I use this by use, by activating it with the uh, key that I specifically assigned to it, and I take enough damage, I will start to, uh, if I take some damage, let me uh, actually fix this here. Let's fall from a very high height. Let's do it about here. This looks pretty good. And there we go. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. So you see, I already am regenerating from the uh, health pops that I have, but those are only going to last so long. So there we go. You can see that my uh, food pops have finally started dropping low enough, and the game mode is currently allowing this seal with regeneration, it's active, to currently uh, work as it should. Now, it is not active, and therefore it's uh, keeping me alive. Now, you can have it just sitting in your inventory. It doesn't even have to be on your hotbar currently. Uh, now, of course, there's also the seal of magnetism, and don't forget, this is all at the cost, uh, so let's turn this on, of... Uh, your essence down at the bottom here, uh, which, by the way, if you need to uh, open up your GUI, you can actually move these around your screen wherever you like them to be. It's really, really handy. Uh, but uh, it, with this on, it will drain your essence, uh, and, <laughs> which is a very dark crystal uh, reference here, funny enough. Um, but uh, it will drain your essence as you take damage because it will then activate. But it doesn't actually drain your uh, essence currently. Now, with that in mind, let's bring out magnetism. And you can see ooh, right there, let's throw this way over there. And this is kind of a three by three area, super magnetism. Zoop. There is no delay in that. It just kind of jumps right into your inventory without much problem. Of course, I just threw that to the ground, so that's why it didn't pick up immediately. But it is really good for picking up stuff. So let's, let's throw out a bunch of things here. Uh, let's just throw these out randomly. And you can see that just getting close, instantly picks everything up. Very simple, very effective, and it is at the cost of your own essence uh, meter down at the bottom again. So let's turn that off, and let's get into, whoops, let's turn that off, and let's get into the uh, last seal here, which is blink. Now this one here, it's a little different. You don't get to turn it on and off. You know, there's no active or unactive. You just right click, and you can currently teleport a very short distance, but you have to be careful because <laughs> you can end up in walls. Uh, it's very experimental currently, and I used up all my essence, so I can't teleport back at this point. So there is benefits to leveling up, so you can have more essence and po potentially ways to replenish it. All right, 
enough delays. Let's get into the good stuff here. Not that anything hasn't been good so far, but let's get into the, the, the best part. Spells, of course. Everybody wants to cast spells. You get a bunch of void rods here, which of course is going to want to drain your essence, just having them in your inventory. They don't stack more than two at a time either, so it makes it even more interesting because, uh, you know, you're going to run out of uh, power unless you're standing near some of your little recharge stations. Put a diamond at the top, you get yourself a void caster. Uh, so what does this do? This thing is wonderful. It is fantastic. It is just a stick. <laughs> But it's a magic stick. It allows you access to casting uh, all of the spells uh, that you might have access to. Now, remember, this being the closed beta that it is, it currently allows me all access to all the spells that have been made so far, which there are a plethora. And you can combine them, mix them, match them and stuff just like in Ars Magica. Now I'm going into creative mode just so that I don't uh, spam out my essence like I have been so far. Uh, but you can see here, just by right-clicking on this uh, spell tinkering altar, I now have access to all sorts of things that I can use to create them. Everything currently has to start with a projectile. Now this may change in the future, at least I would uh, probably expect it to. Uh, you can add in physical damage, you can uh, make it stick to objects, you can then add things like uh, tur turn it into a giant icicle, you take your void caster, put it down here, and click the go button. You then take that spell, and you can cast it out in the world. Let's see that tree over there. Let's shoot this thing at it, and nothing happens because it hit leaves. You want to hit an entity or a solid wall or a floor or something, and you notice it's not hitting any of the grass either. Reason being, I need to have it be able to pass through things like water, like liquid. So let's do physical, sticky, earth spike. No, we don't want earth spike. Uh, let's take that back. We want icicle drop and pass through liquid. All right, activate. And now let's give it a go. Oh, you can see that those things actually did land. It just took a little bit longer because it's sticky. It actually will stick there until something triggers it or it has a delayed reaction like me walking in its place. Ugh and I am now stuck. Well, let me grab this blink seal here and get out of here. There we go, I am now outside, though uh, apparently I clicked that a little one too many times. Let's hit that once, there we go. And that takes a while if it doesn't actually activate because I chose that sticky option because the ice cubes just spammed all over the ground. Let me take off that sticky effect because that really seems to be messing with this. Projectile, physical, we're going to ignore sticky. Instead, we, we might add in, what is it? Bounce. That sounds like fun. Icicle um, and pass through liquid and, well, we could always add in extra things too, like void walls and so on. But let's, let's do that first. All right, there we go. Get that spell. And now when I cast this, it's not sticky. It'll just happen when it hits a surface. Pow, look at that. And my frame rate has just like taken a massive drop because of all the ice cubes here. Let me grab these real quick with a little magnetism help and I'll be right back. So yeah, that was a lot of ice. But uh, luckily, I've got this magnetism thing. So here you go. You know, it, it's just a lot of fun. You can focus in on things. Totally encapsulate creatures uh, if you want. Let's let's go aim for one of these sheep over here, and this will work. Now I did damage to them at the same time, so sometimes you got to keep in mind if you don't want to kill them, you don't need you don't want to aim at them. You just want to encase them. <laughs> it can be very dangerous. But there, this is just one of the spells. Uh, of course, that one's kind of mixed with a few others, but let's try accessing a few more things here. Now, I can take the same spell uh, void caster here and choose something else. Let's choose, uh, let's ignore the physical damage part. We don't want it sticky. Let's try Earth Spike. Just straight up, simple spell will do Earth Spike, and you can see how this one works. Now, on the side of that, it just shoots a little spike of earth or stone. There will be config options and things that you can shut off in case this is on a server so that you know you don't have a bunch of griefers just destroying your server, uh, as people might, <laughs> depending. I mean, Ars Magica 2 was pretty powerful before, and it is known as a server crasher, but this, I think, will uh, have a lot of safeties in place so that you don't need to worry about that. All right, let's try this Void Wall spell, uh, and we'll see what that does. All right, we will put this down and there you go. You now have a void wall that kind of stays there for a short period of time. And then over time, it will eventually disappear. 
Uh, now, of course, that can be modified further and may change as things do in beta mods. Life drain is basically a poison effect. Explosion is, is a really big explosion. Let me just show you. Hey, there's some sheep over there. All right, let's just shoot them. And goodbye. <laughs> very strong stuff here. We could just destroy the entire landscape very quickly, very easily with this explosion spell. Of course, I, I've run out of my uh, essence from my recharge station and stuff uh, a long, long time ago. But thankfully, I'm in creative and I can get away with this stuff. There, of course, is push, which allows you to just kind of push an entity away. There we go. And almost all these spells will still do a, uh, a little bit of damage. So you do have to keep that in mind that uh, if you decide to just start spamming this, you know, you're still going to do some damage to the, uh, the creatures that you're shooting with this. And of course there's fire, which uh, basically will do damage and set the creature on fire. Lava, which will create a lava source block pass through liquid, you can smelt things at the same time, set things confused, whoops, all right, fire, lava, pass through liquids, smelt, confusion, why not? We'll, we'll do all the above. And now when I start spawning some of these guys, uh, it's going to just hit them, and that does confusion effect. If you look here, I have poison and slowness because I'm within the area of it. Uh, so that's the confusion and the uh, heart drain. It's, it's rather interesting. And if I hit the ground with it, because I also chose lava, it will create a lava source block, which can therefore create a lot of mess when uh, you've got this uh, here. Let's, let's do that and see how that bears. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. Uh, it's uh, very customizable. You can... Oopsie. <laughs> you can, uh, therefore, don't right-click your your spell tinkering altar with that in in hand. You'll you will regret it. You can harvest things. You can uh, put growth on them. You can also have it plant at the same time. Uh, you don't want it to bounce, but passing through liquid isn't going to hurt. And you definitely don't want to explode your crops. But if you put all those in place, uh, let's grab a hoe here and some seeds uh seeds that are not void seeds we don't we don't want the void seeds and let's just start doing some of this and you can see that we've got an area here put a bunch of seeds down nothing really fancy and then i can use this uh to actually i just realized i don't i don't need to do that because i've got this thing it will cast and put seeds down, make them grow, and harvest them all at the same time. Look at this. It's just ridiculousness. You can... Oh my gosh. It, it's... <laughs> it's ridiculous. But I mean, this is the kind of power we're talking about here. But I mean, infinite power, itty bitty living space, folks. Just, just saying. But hey. I mean, this is a great great mod. A sneak peek into what is currently out here and what may yet come. Who knows? You'll have to check with Shadow Gamer, and uh, he might be able to clue you in to some more. I've got some details below if you care to check things out. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know that I always enjoy testing out new and fantastic and wonderful mods. So if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to spread the mischief to others if you think that they'll also enjoy this video. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.